Welcome, Hudson Valley, to this week's edition of In Touch, the public affairs and issues program that runs across Town Square Media, the Hudson Valley radio stations. This week's guest is Peter Knapschik, founder of the weather and travel app Weather on the Way. Regarded as the most advanced road conditions app, Weather on the Way allows users to know everything about weather conditions at any point on their route in real time. This app is truly incredible, and I believe it is really going to influence the way we travel for the better. We invite you to join us and listen to a previously recorded conversation between Peter and myself here on In Touch. In Touch is nothing without the support from the hundreds of listeners we get on a weekly basis. Thank you so much for listening and taking part in the conversation. If you listen to In Touch through a podcast service such as Spotify or Apple Podcasts, please consider leaving a positive review. With more five-star reviews on these platforms, the algorithms will work harder to promote our show and bring In Touch to new audiences. That and also sharing In Touch with your friends and family is so important. Just sharing our links and listening live each Sunday goes a long way. Thank you for all you do to stay in touch with what's going on in the Hudson Valley. We here at InTouch are all about, well, being in touch with what's going on in the Hudson Valley. What better way to stay in touch with what's going on than by downloading the Town Square Media mobile app for this radio station. Not only can you listen to the station live at any time using this app, but you can listen to InTouch On Demand. Besides InTouch, you can read daily articles about news, events, entertainment, and more that's going on in your community. And when the weather gets bad, like it did on Tuesday, you can use the app to check on weather reports and see which schools and organizations are closed. Your Town Square Media app is also the best place for concert and event tickets. We're constantly giving away tickets to the hottest shows in the area. Right now, you can use your Town Square Media mobile app to purchase tickets for Patty in Poughkeepsie, the Hudson Valley's premier St. Patrick's Day event. The celebration will be happening on Saturday, March 11th at the MJN Convention Center in Poughkeepsie. The event will feature live music from the Mighty Plowboys and the best Dropkick Murphys cover band, the Not Kick Murphys. Mahoney's Irish Pub will be on site providing traditional Irish foods and fare, plus there will be plenty of vendors and, of course, beer. Again, you'll have access to all of this if you download the Town Square Media mobile app for this radio station. Hello, Hudson Valley. You're listening to In Touch, Town Square Media, the Hudson Valley's public affairs and issues program. We got a great episode for you today. I am speaking with Peter Knapschik. Uh, founder of Weather on the Way. It's this incredible new app startup company that's uh, working uh, on helping drivers with real-time weather and road conditions. And I think this is really fascinating and it'll help out a lot of people. Peter, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Doing all right. No, really happy to have you on here. And uh, one thing, one thing about this uh, that I thought was really great, you know, I'm driving around all the time. I'm, I have to go all around, whether friends, whether job, and I'm constantly using my GPS. And I always hate when something was like getting in my way, whether it's weather, whether it's traffic. I'm constantly on the move. And this is something that is very important to me and I'm sure a lot of commuters out there. So I'm glad to have you on and talking about all this. Um, obviously, I gave a very brief one sentence overview, but I'm sure you can get into it way better than I can. Can you tell our listeners a little bit about Weather on the Way? Of course. Um, so Weather on the Way is an iPhone app, uh, which uh, it's a weather app, but it's not a standard weather app where you just put in your location or some city and it will tell you the, for the forecast for the city. But it's a route weather app. So you put in your destination the app will take into account how fast you will go to this destination and what route you will take. And it will take also take into account the time of leave, so the, the departure time, and it will show you the weather you will encounter as you go along your route. So as you go from mile after mile, your weather will change depending on your where you are, but also how long it took to get there. And the app will take all of this into account, show you what weather you will encounter, what dangers are on the road, if there are some alerts, uh, some dangerous conditions, and you can then use it to plan your routes before, depart before departing, 
but you also can use it live while driving to know, for example, may, maybe making a stop would be a good idea. That's very smart and a great way of going about things. Now, you said that the, uh, talked about different dangers on the road. So obviously the weather, but are you also referring to potentially like accidents or things falling onto the roads, things along those lines, or is it mainly weather related? So the app is focusing on the weather, but we do include uh, all the um, uh, weather alerts which come from governments, various governments around the country. So things like, for example, a flood warning. So if there is a risk of the uh, of, uh, river flooding a road which goes along it, you get this warning along, the, along your route. That's really smart. And you said that you collect majority of your information using uh, government sources? Yes, so we use weather uh, forecasts from um, from the government models where they model the weather forecast and then uh, we use all this data to integrate it and then take into account your location, your, your time and to show it on your on your map. So all the weather data comes from from government uh, government data. That's really impressive. So let's backtrack a little bit then. Take us to the very beginning of this project. First of all, what inspired you to get into this? And what background did you have to even, you know, engage in this process? Yeah. So uh, I finished computer science at my university. Uh, so I had some programming experience. And at the time I was working a bit far from my hometown. So I am from Poland and I was working in Germany. Uh, so the constant travel was always on my mind. Um, I also just recently got a driver's license. Uh, so I wasn't really super secure while driving. So it, having information about weather and uh, being, being sure that it will be a good weather on my drive would be was, was very important for me. So I started, just started looking for it. So I started to see if there is some app that can do it. And I couldn't find anything that was, was well made. And I also look, just found people asking the same question. Uh, so I, what, what the idea I had, okay, so there is not, nothing that does it well. Maybe I can do it. And uh, that was the idea and developed over, over a few years. And, and it launched two years ago. And since then, I had very uh, well received from, from many users. That's really incredible because you're right. There's a lot of different apps that take you on your routes, and there's a lot of apps that you know talk about the weather, but there's not a lot that integrate the two in real time the way that you're working on it with weather on the way, which is really impressive. And you said that this only launched about two years ago, correct? Yes, yes. it was uh, tw uh, summer 2020. Summer so of 2020. Years ago. But um, in those two years, you've come a really long way. Uh, I have here that Weather on the Way was the thir third most downloaded free weather app in the U.S. during yeah. Christmas time in 2022. That's that's so impressive. <laughs> third most in the, in the U.S. That's incredible. So what kind of journey has it been to get the word out there for people? to download this? Has it been through word of mouth? Has it been through just simply good reviews? Tell us about the growth that you've seen in this time. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's it's few, few, few sources. Like like I said before, there are people always asking about it when I, on the internet. Uh, so just getting the app in front of the people was a, was a good idea. And talking with users from different uh, kind of, like, there are different kind of drivers. So there are truck drivers who use it. There are motorcycl motorcyclists, for example, people who do RVs uh, or travel long distance. So getting talking with people in this kind of different subgroups of drivers um, it, to, get us, to get the word out. And also just having good reviews, like you mentioned, is, is, is also very, uh, very valuable. We have all, uh, Where on the Way has over 6,000 uh, reviews on the App Store uh, with, I think, 4.8 uh, star ratings. I think we are doing pretty well. And, uh, so is yes, and <laughs> um, yeah, and, uh, uh, and also we have, uh, we try to reach different kind of uh, different areas of the country and uh, it's 
we are not only works in US, it also works internationally. So trying to uh, to have uh, the highest uh, quality of 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 weather for for different parts of the of the, of the country. That's really impressive how that you have such a grand scope of things. And that was something that I wanted to ask. Um, as I said here, it was the third most downloaded in the U.S. But how does this app look internationally? You said you're, yourself, you're from Poland, right? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, so how, how's, how's that looking in your home nation and how's that looking in other countries as well? Yes, yeah, so we use uh, Apple uh, Apple Maps as a as a uh, source of the driving, so the source of your routes, and we use uh, when government alerts, so from uh, National Weather Service in US and from European centers, which predict the weather globally. So this way, we can uh, put all of this data in in the app, and it will work in most of the countries around the world. That's super impressive. It's amazing the way that we've come with technology and then you using your computer science background to put this together for people and making it, you know, making it out of a need that you found yourself. How this is something like when you got your license, you're like, oh, no, I really want this. This is this is important. It's safe and it's not, you know. And it's not something that people want overlooked. It's absolutely incredible. And so many so much kudos to you on this. One of our previous guests here on In Touch has an exciting new event coming up promoting education and social interaction. The Marist College Center for Lifetime Study is inviting the community to come to its open day information session on March 8th at the Locust Grove Estate on Route 9 in Poughkeepsie. The event is open to adults age 55 and above who might be interested in their educational and social programs. The Center for Lifetime Study is an organization that has served the adult community for 30 years. Its purpose is to allow seniors to maintain meaningful social and collegial experiences through lifetime learning, travel, and discussion. Course offerings range from science, social sciences, arts, and exploration of individual hobbies and experiences. These are taught by college faculty as well as their own members. Again, they will host an open house with refreshments and info on their programs on the morning of March 8th, 2023 at the Locust Grove Estate. Admission is free, but reservations are required at least five days before the event. The CLS website is maristedu slash professional dash program slash CLS. For more information about the event or to register for the open house, contact the CLS office at mc.edu cls at maris.edu or by phone at 845-575-3902. Again, you're listening to In Touch, Town Square Media, the Hudson Valley's Public Affairs and Issues Program. We are speaking with Peter Knapschick, founder of Weather on the Way. Weather on the Way, as we described earlier, was the third most downloaded free weather app in the U.S., especially around the uh, uh, holidays in 2022. Very impressive feat. Another thing that I wanted to talk about, since we are a New York Hudson Valley based show, something that was also impressive about your app is that a lot of routes here in New York were among uh, the most uh, checked out and most searched routes being like I-95, I-80, I-80. Um, they're very well commuted routes, that's for sure. But why do you think there's such a desire for it here in this region out of all places? Um, I think there are two factors here. So one is obviously uh, the amount of people around the area. So the more people there are, the more people will be looking for for, uh, for the app. But also the kind of weather uh, in New York, uh, I think the way it can be uh, var var varied and can change uh, on different, like, in a different kind of way compared to, for example, in California where the weather is much more stable in general. And uh, yes, and uh, because of that, people uh, will be looking for, for a way to, to drive safely, to, to plan ahead and to see like they're, they're not gonna be, they don't want to be surprised by by some um, dangerous conditions or just by some stressful conditions on the road. So they would prefer to to pick a road uh, where where it's safer or pick a route, maybe delay a departure time by a day and drive a different time, but have a much nicer drive. No, I understand. As somebody who you know, I drive all those routes all the time. 
it's incredible because uh, just the other week, I was driving from my area in Poughkeepsie, and I was going up to the capital region. And as soon as I saw the signs for the capital region, there's snow on the ground. We didn't have snow near us, but there was snow and ice. And it was like, where did this come from? I had no idea. And it looked like I just entered a whole new territory. So you're right. There's a lot of variation when it comes to the weather in this area. And the fact that, you know, your users are picking up on that and taking advantage of your app to understand it better is is great so when making this app you had the background in computer science you had the desire to look into these things whether uh weather wise for yourself and for others but did you yourself have much of a background in meteorology and weather and what was that like to figure that out in this process if you didn't uh, no, I didn't. So I had to figure out how how it works on the on the weather side and uh, trying to understand. I think the most interesting thing is how there are different uh, forecasts which are provided. Like every country has their own uh, office which predicts the world for the whole world. So not just for the country, but for the, the whole globe. Uh, so it's interesting to look how how the weather will. The same, uh, kind of like there are different predictions made by different offices around the world, but it will be for a whole globe. So looking at how uh, it can, uh, one may be more accurate in one one area, other will be more accurate in another, and uh, yeah. So so this kind of uh, data management that, that all these uh, offices do, it's it's interesting thing. That's fascinating. You know, that's not something that I've necessarily thought of. Different nations and different areas, regions, territories, all, you know, analyzing and reporting the weather differently. I guess I'm just um, uh, very close minded, necessarily naive, naive, I should say <laughs> naive with, you know, being in the U.S. It seems very standard the way that we you can go to different states and you hear very similar weather predictions and you can understand. But that's fascinating thinking that other people and other areas take it in other ways. Um, could you tell us some of the differences that you've seen, um, notable, noticeable differences that you've uh, witnessed between countries? So I think the highest, like the most noticeable difference is how far in the future the forecast will be accurate. So uh, looking at different uh, different weather prediction systems, they will differ by, for example, one will be 90% accurate, but only for five days, and another may be 90% accurate by for seven days, but only this in a different, in a specific areas, for example. So when, when there is a, so, for example, in one country, when U.S. Uh, weather servers, for example, tries to build uh, their own system, they will focus on having accurate forecasting in U.S. Uh, another, another country may focus on their area. So, uh, in this way, they may be different in, in how much accurate will be or how much uh, maybe they'll miss something, some, some uh, uh, severe storms, for example. But it will be accurate in another area, like for example, temperature or or pressure. Wow, that's really incredible. Thank you for laying that out for us. I, I really appreciate that. That's really uh, enlightening for me, and I'm sure to a lot of people. In the last month alone, we had some incredible guests here on In Touch. We started off February with a conversation with Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee Denny Lane. Denny Lane, who is best known as a founding member of both the Moody Blues and Wings with Paul McCartney, talked to us about his Songs and Stories tour ahead of his performance at City Winery. After that, we had Evan Mack, who's considered one of the most gifted composers of his generation by industry insiders and has published several successful operas. We talked about he is using his organization, We Are Instrumental, to provide musical instruments to schools in need of supplies and funding. Then we had the return of Meg Boyce from the Alzheimer's Association in to talk about the super chill event, Sub-Zero Heroes, which is a charity event and challenge to raise money for the Alzheimer's Association. Meg and I discussed the event at Berrien Lake where people plunge into the freezing water and support one another for a great cause. Again, that's just from this month alone. We are so grateful to our guests and we hope that you take a chance to check them out. 
If you have an important issue or story that needs to get out to the community, don't hesitate to reach out to Connor.Walsh at townsquaremedia.com. That or call us at 845-471-1500. Again, you're listening to In Touch, Town Square Media, the Hudson Valley's public affairs and issues program. We are speaking with the founder of Weather on the Way, Peter Knapschik, and it's really fascinating getting into the background of how you analyze everything. And, of course, the, the number one thing is it works. This is an incredible program, and it's getting a lot of great insights. As you said, thousands of positive reviews, 4.8 stars on the app store, on the Apple App Store, right? That is so amazing. So where can people find this app? What is the best way for people to download it and start using it today? Yeah, just uh, go to the App Store, search for Weber on the Way, and you can try it for yourself. It's free to try and you can see how it works for your, your route, and you can see if, how you can make your travel safer and less stressful. Terrific. And of course, the link to Weather on the Way will be uh, in the description of this episode on our website and the description of our podcast episodes. Peter, thank you so much for your time, and thank you for what you're doing to revolutionize you know, the travel and uh, weather industry right now. This is so cool. And I can't wait to see how much further this will take you. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. This has been this week's edition of In Touch, the public affairs and issues program that runs across Town Square Media, the Hudson Valley radio stations. We want to give a big thank you to Peter Knapschik. You can download the Weather on the Way app in the Apple and Google Play app stores. Of course, all links and information can be found in the description of this episode. Thank you to everyone who listened to In Touch last year and who have continued to listen into 2023. And those who are just finding us, welcome. Last year saw a lot of growth in this program, and we expect even more to come this year. You can find In Touch episodes new and old on your favorite streaming services like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and more. That and listen on demand with your Town Square radio station mobile app. Of course, you can still find all articles and audio under the In Touch tab on this radio station's app and website. And don't forget, we're also on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram at InTouch underscore HV. We're booking guest spots for 2023, and wow, we are really filling in fast. It is amazing to see the demand that there is that people just want to be on this show, and we are happy to offer such a platform. But... Before things get fully booked up, we do still have some spots. Whether you have a topic you want discussed or you want to be a guest, the best way to contact us is through our office number, 845-471-1500, or email direct to connor.walsh at townsquaremedia.com. Again, that is Connor spelt C-O-N-O-R, just one N. I've been your host, Connor Walsh. Until next time, stay curious, keep an open mind, and as always, I'm glad we get to spend some time.